All right, it's Saturday on Your View. Welcome to the show. I am Veronica Dan Ikoy. And as usual, I have my beautiful co host here this morning. Good morning, ladies. Morning. Excellent morning, Veronica. It's good to see you. Good to see you too. Obviously, you had a restful weekend, Damola. Yes, I did. I said I... weekend week. <laughs> yeah. it was it was it was a productive week for me and right. uh, i'm preparing for my trip to china uh -huh. to some of my business partners oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> some of my some of my uh, partners that have been working on our research and development so we decided to meet and uh, firm some discussions up i'm a bit nervous because they don't speak english there ah, <laughs> you know, I'm so i'm just um you know, it'd be, but I'm positive, I'm sure. Okay. I have, you know, I have some locals around that I'm, that would help you, yeah, yeah, that I'm intending to, you know, use for the local run. So, mm. yeah. Try to take first. a few classes. So, yeah, of course. <laughs> Ni hao. You know, you know, you know, it helps. Yeah, the basics. <laughs> yeah, the basics. Yeah, the basics. Yeah, the basics. The basics. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But then, Put I your know, it's going to be productive. Yeah, I'm not your handbag now. Yeah. Let me come with you. Come, come, come. I can be your hand luggage, you know. Worry. I'll package everybody. Let's go. Zobi. <laughs> yes, I'm you? very well. So, the um, day before yesterday, I was just lying down, and the next thing, I received an alert from my husband. Uh -huh. <laughs> and <laughs> and the caption was, <laughs> thank you for servicing me. Ah, hey! ah. <laughs> Is it not too early in the morning? <laughs> I mean, I mean, today is Saturday. So, <laughs> I mean, as I saw it, I was like, what is this? I was so happy with the money, mm -hmm. but I was more grateful that somebody is noticing my hard work in this house. <laughs> that's so good. It was, it was a good experience seeing oh, that, that's you know, I'm appreciated for the work that you for do. For the Ishe Taku Taku. Oh my God. <laughs> that's Please, oh, send me credit to <laughs> Navin, working hard. Man, oh, man, these are the things you should learn. Uh -huh. Um, this year, um, I'm grateful to God. I, yeah. I have a lot. So I resume my TV series set tomorrow. Oh, uh, There's a lot for me to do. My script is still heavy. I'm, I'm looking through by the grace of God. I'm ready. We had a meeting with the director yesterday, and he was you know, telling us all of his expectations, what wanted, how he wanted the roles to be, how we're going to play the roles. I'm going to be doing something very drastic I've never done in my life before in this set. Wow. But I'm looking forward to it. Because um, I, set, I, I want to be around that. Is it, is it, no, okay, not on this no, set, okay, okay, okay. the movie set. It's <laughs> something I've never it, done before. It, <laughs> like a vice, I'll be like a bad, hey. a bad somebody in that one. So hey, bad girl, be. bad girl, B. <laughs> <laughs> Then also, um, I um, have a lot going on. I'm setting up my physical shop. Oh, so it's, ah, it's, great. it's looking good already. Yeah. The work, work is going on there right now. Mm -hmm. Immediately after the show, I'm heading back there to see the sort of work that's being done. I was also going to be at the trade fair uh, this next uh, Lagos International Trade Fair. Mm. November. Yes, I'm shooting at the time, so I don't know how I'm going to divide myself. So I'm trying to also employ workers, mm -hmm. physical workers so now. So you don't micromanage? Yeah, so that um, we have people who would be looking helping run the business as well. Nice. So I can also it's, do it's, it's things. looking good. It's yeah, looking we good. thank God. I'm grateful. Um, <laughs> right. Anyway, my week has been productive. I'm at a planning stage because uh, there's so much going on. I have to plan, you know, just have a blueprint of how you want to run things. Mm -hmm. uh, so there are some aspects of my life I need to just put in place. So it's about the planning stage so that I know how to implement mm -hmm. moving forward. So we might be hearing some things from me much later. Oh, okay. But then... Oh. <laughs> well, we can't wait. Uh, but then I want to celebrate some people th this morning. I know she's okay. watching. Lucy, you are watching me. Today is your birthday. We have been celebrating Lucy for the past how many months? It's like she's been counting down to her birthday. As okay. she's one an egyptic, Lucy, fine your young friend? lady. She works here in TVC. Oh, okay. Lucy oh. Ahiri. Okay. No, she's not an anchor. She is a producer, but Aww. she she's into so many things. She wants to be an anchor as well. Yeah. But happy she's birthday, energetic, Lucy. friendly, and all. Lucy, happy birthday to you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to Lucy. Lucy. <laughs> and then I also, also use this opportunity to congratulate uh, Mr. and Mrs. Sunday Agbola. It's their wedding anniversary as well. They've Aww. been a great, of immense influence to me. Uh, they've stood as parents. Oh, wow. Me. Yeah, so I just want to celebrate them as well today. Nice. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Mm. All right, let's quickly go on a break. When we return, we'll be looking through the newspaper headlines. Stay with us.
Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thank you for staying with us. Let's head straight to the papers this morning. And I begin with the Nation newspaper. Uh, the major story here, insecurity, cracked down as army begins exercises in southwest, southeast, others. Uh, the riders, gunmen kidnapped nine in Zamfara State, 17 abducted, Undo worshippers regain freedom. Another story here, Mobad, police named nurse, prime suspect. Uh, we got that from uh, the briefing that uh, the police had yesterday. And some writers here say, say there's ample evidence against Naira Mali, Sam, Sam Larry, others. Singer vomited had goosebumps after receiving three injections. All right, another story here. Blind herbalist defrauds 86-year-old woman of 19 million Naira. How come? Suspect, I only received 5 million Naira, data is my accomplice lover interesting now lagos vows to demolish houses without building permit that's another story here another one here no plans to hike petrol price says nnpceo and on the top corner here chicago state university more knocks for atiku over certificate saga go and plan for 2027 former apc spokesman mocks ex-vice president a mockery to PDP. We have reached end of our ropes. All right, another story here. APC to Ondo Assembly stop Ayedatiwa's impeachment. All of the stories you find on the front page of the Nation newspaper. Who has what story? Hmm. Mm -hmm. The old grandma, 86 year old woman who, uh, a herbalist, a fake herbalist defrauded of 19 million naira. Oh, a blind, enough. fake. How did you do it? Anyway. So no be person we get are you in blind cause to be fraudster. So according to the story, <clears throat> said the 86 year old woman identified as Madam Alimot had 15 children, but they've been dying like almost every year. She's lost almost all of them. I think she just has three kids left, three children left, and you know because of that, it said last year one of the children fell ill, and so she needed. A cure. She was desperate. So mm. she heard on radio in Ogun State of this herbalist who was, you know, probably marketing himself powerful. powerful. And she decided to visit him. One more time. They now started. So the herbalist will say today, uh, you have to do sacrifices. There's death hovering around your family. I have to do this. I have to do that. And that's how he started collecting money from. Mm. He wanted to buy this cow. He wanted to pay this. He wanted to pay that. At some point, he said that uh, uh, there's an Oba in Ileife that discovered what is going on. And we have to pacify the Oba by paying two million. He mm. kept defrauding. She had to sell two of her houses in Moe and wow. carry oh all goodness. the money and for this over. herbalist. Meanwhile, herbalist was doing her daughter, one of the daughters, hey, and the granddaughter, and the, oh, the ones that are alive, Habalis was collecting show from them, you know. And then it went on till she lost everything. She has, um, I think, high blood pressure, and then she needs to be buying she a certain medicine from time to medicine. time, which she could no longer, from a rich woman, she could no longer afford to buy her medicine. So she's crying out for help. Police have started investigation. The Habalis has been arrested. He said no. Uh, that all the defrauding he was doing uh, was in connivance with the daughter who he was sleeping with. Oh so it's the daughter that, will, according to his own side of the story, it's the daughter that will call him to say, Mama has money now. Or yeah, bring something. Come and talk something. And they will collect this woman. What manner story. of wickedness is he this? He wanted her to even... So he didn't give her medicine to cure any of the children mm -hmm. that were still living. He wanted her to kill somebody. So the day he bought her, uh, she bought the cow, 
for the sacrifice. They went to the Badagri place to sacrifice the cow, only for them to see a young man lying on the floor. The Habalists told them that the young man, the cow turned into the young man, and so they should stab uh -uh. the young man. And she said, no, she can't do it. That was when like, the scales started falling off her eyes. <sighs> God help us. Blind herbalist. Now, wow. The yeah. liver is huge. This is, yeah. this is a lot. But I just hope uh, yeah. that she gets justice at the end of the day. It's just unfortunate that the children, uh, the child she's trying to fight okay. for, mm. is the one that turned against her yeah. right now. Yeah. It's, it's a sad one. It's yeah. a sad one. Who has another story? So I have the Lagos Vows buildings without permits would be demolished. And so the Lagos State Building Control Agency, that's Las Becca, has said that it would demolish all buildings and structures that do not have the necessary building permits. And so this was made known yesterday by the general manager of Las Becca, Golan Oki. And he said that this has been going on for like five years, stating that the, um, the, why is smiling? <laughs> no, no, forget. Mm -hmm. Stating that the houses around the Ogombo area in Lagos State are like most of them are illegal structures. So like 80 to 90% of those um, houses there are illegal and are shanties. Mm. And again, they do not even have the approvals that the government requires. And so there was, if we notice, there's been a raid of um, demolitions of buildings around that area. And they also made known um, a statement saying that there has been encroachment of government owned landed properties in that area by land grabbers and so these land grabbers would also take the lands they would sell them to unsuspecting investors mm. and those ones at the end of the day would still have problems with the government and mm. so it's calling on people to be wise about it and saying that if you want to buy a property please make the necessary research very good do not just buy because, because somebody's recommending and trying to cut corners mm -hmm. and make more money that's why they are, they are running into problems. Exactly. If you go through the process, you would know that a particular land belongs to the government. Oh, it's not Sometimes. Like Sometimes. Somebody, I've, I've fallen yeah. a victim before. My very first <laughs> Same here. money ever, when I was still, you know, when, when I started making money, I said, ah, let me, let me, let me to start yeah. investing. Or I bought a piece of land in Ikorodo. Mm. In fact, we had even built it to... A certain level. A certain, it was supposed to be a, a bungalow, two units of um, uh, two-bedroom flats. We had built, we had roofs. We, we just needed to do some fittings, so, fittings, and, fittings and all of that. Then this, my neighbor started disturbing me, dragging me. You cannot build here. This is that, 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 that. It's uh, on a road. This place belongs to the government. You didn't ah, see you people wanting to get the foundation. Hey. That's the issue. Yeah. At the end That's of the day. That's another issue. You know, we just woke up one day and then somebody told us that they had demolished. demolished. Oh. By who? We did not even know who. The government said they had not even gotten there, yeah. there yet. But we were then suspecting the man that had been you know, disturbing us all along. I just left it because I'm a young land woman. Issue. I, can, I cannot be dragging land issues. Yes, issue. a lot of people do not even still do their research. Mm -hmm. I know there are exceptions yeah, to the yeah, case. Yeah, I'd yeah. also spent like most of my working experience working with real estate companies. I served as executive assistant for some of the top um, real estate company owners in Lagos State. And so I see that Las Becca is always sending messages for them to do their documentations, mm. to do all those things right. But people still find a way to go, yes, to go around it and not do their due diligence, especially. Yeah. And they will now go on to still sell that land again. Mm -hmm. So and they want to this, make money. Yeah, these issues it, it, are really, really it's, it's just unfortunate. Damala, you have Yeah, to... let me take the uh, mobile story. Oh. So uh, there was a press conference by yes. the police yesterday. And... Uh, the headline says, Mobad vomited, had goosebumps after receiving three injections. So the police is saying that the main suspect in this case is uh, an auxiliary nurse called uh, Feishara Ogedengbe. And she was invited by Mobad's friend, Ayobami uh, Sodik, aka Spending. And this was because uh, Mobad had uh, sustained an injury from his last show where he had a fight with one of his um, childhood friends. And... Uh, the lady, asked, that's the nurse now, she asked for pictures to be sent to her for her to assess the injury so she would be able to know what to come with the next day. She was actually um, reached, she, she was contacted on Monday, but she wasn't available. So she went on Tuesday with all the uh, eject, injections that uh, she thought would solve the... She thought? Yeah. Yes. And it... Mm. Ms. Feisha, according to the news, Ms. Feisha eventually arrived armed with one pack of Centrexone injection, mm. one vial 
paracetamol injection, tetanus toxoid injection. Yeah. <laughs> Reading these names, if I'm, I'm scared. One vial procaine penicillin, seven ampules of IM diclofenac. Was, sure the, was yeah, the, the injury the, infected? I don't know. So the, I'm, I'm sure the uh, medical doctors will understand all of this. Yeah. However, when she uh, uh, administered the injections, he started throwing up immediately. He was wow. convulsing. They had wow. to rush him to the hospital. And the hospital, the first hospital, Paris Medical Center, confirmed him dead on arrival. Mm. Uh, it was reported that everything happened within just one hour from the time that the injections were you know, administered and when he was confirmed dead. So, so far, 26 witnesses have been interviewed, including his childhood friend who he had the fight with. And for Naramali and um, Samlari, the police has found them, uh, there are evidences linking them All to right. bullying and threat to life and assault. So the case is still unfolding. Let's see how it and goes. That, uh, my well, issue is, at the end of the day, let's, let's get justice. <laughs> uh, the major story here says, certificate saga. Presidency says Atiku desperate as ex-vice president submits Tinubu's Chicago Varsity record and uh, says president committed forgery, perjury by submitting fraudulent certificates to electoral body. Presidency says ex-VP chasing shadows. Eight alleges Atiku desperate to embarrass Tinubu. Another story here. DSS officers slapped, threatened to kill me for defending client. The lawyer is speaking. And uh, this one says uh, private comforters, a thriving world of professional cutlers. Interesting. All right. Mobad, police indict prime boy, friend, killer nurse in singer's death. Auxiliary nurses are quacks employed by clinics for cheap labor. Uh, the Nigeria Association of Nurses and Midwives president speaking there. And at the top corner, prove allegations of fake credentials against me, Walishrinka dares accusers, Naramali, Mali, and President Kulingov at Bantis D4. Who has our story? Okay, um, just it's still in line with um, uh, Mobad's um, story, but the, the point is reporting that they can confirm that Samlari and Naramali are in Pansi. They have been detained there and they are in the VIP cells. And um, there are more woes for Naramali because uh, the, there's, there's a case he has with the EFCC that they have to continue. So Justice Nicholas Owebo of the Federal High Court sitting in Ikoyi has issued a production warrant against him. That's in line with the case he has with the EFCC. And he has, she has told the lawyer to produce um, him at all costs and mm. she doesn't care if he has a case to answer or not but he has to answer for his um, other cases all right so that's us yeah, so i yeah. took a story in the papers a mm. custom seized 20 containers of expired tomato paste mm. so the ports and terminal multipurpose limited command of the nigerian custom service said he has seized 20 containers 20 foot each of expired tomato paste wow. and uh, while they were addressing journalists at the ptml on friday the acting controller general of the customs at dewali adini he said the containers were coming in from spain uh, and he said each of the containers contained 80 drums of expired tomato paste and the contrabands have been seized uh, in august they had a duty paid value of 106 116 million naira and he said august 8 the officers on routine check mm -hmm. Uh, that the vigilante officers uncovered you know, the expired tomatoes concentrate, which was deemed unfit for human consumption. Mm. And you know, they were talking about the audacity of the smugglers to even attempt to introduce this product they into the care. Nigerian market, that it was so shocking and disheartening that we have a mind to do this mm. to ourselves. So um, they also said the expired tomatoes was falsely declared as almond shell. They didn't say it was tomatoes that was coming in. Of course in. they weren't. Yes. So um, they arranged it meticulously to a total of 1,600 drums. And now everything has been seized by, you know, uh, the customs. And they're saying that we should, that there's a lot of um, energy in importing. We are 
very good at importing. A lot of we're smugglers are in yes, the economy, I'm, so. and they're saying, is there any way we can do more of export? Is there any way we can so that we can get forex in? We're always complaining we don't have dollars, we don't have. There's forex. a lot we need to put in place. Yes, before we can even do the export. So I think the government needs to look into our uh, producing in different aspects. All right, let me quickly export. take this story because it's in line with the Naira Mali story we mentioned earlier, talking about auxiliary nurses being quacks employed by clinics for cheap labor. That's uh, the Nigeria Association of Nurses and Midwife Presidents speaking. Because of this incident, people have begun, begun to look into the activities of auxiliary nurses. We see them in some of these hospitals. Mm -hmm. And we are now understanding that they are not even recognized by this association. Mm -hmm. Uh, it is just that <clears throat> these clinics or hospitals are looking for cheap labor. Yes, we know that the experienced hands are demanding for better pay. Mm -hmm. You cannot ask them for work for hours and you are not paying them That's to measure it yeah. with what they are working for. And then we also know that we have a matter of brain drain as it is. And so people are trying to, you know, fill in the gaps when it comes to running the operations yeah. when in clinics. But then we are beginning to see the results, the results of the activities, mm -hmm. Mobad being a victim, for instance. Negative results. So what do we then do? Do we then ask any nurse that tries to attend to us that, please, are you a certified, certified nurse? nurse or? Or you can question what they are giving to you. So I know in our hospitals, they don't let you ask questions, which me, from beginning, I've always been fighting. You them. ask, yeah. you should yeah, what's, what's in the injection? What's this? What's it supposed to do? You must have, have in yes, it. that knowledge of what they are injecting into you. And so, then there are certain combinations that shouldn't work, work for you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we need to quickly move to the next uh, The paper. Codler story, professional Codler. Ah, Toby has been working ah, on that. Please, ah, please, she has worked on the story. Ah, quickly. <laughs> so there's this thriving business now. They're called professional Codlers. And so you find their services in spas. Codo. Yes, Codo. So you would book a session with a Codler, right? And that person is willing to just hold you, you, hold you. And so there are different degrees to it. There's the platonic touching, just touch. There's the stroking, there's the airplay. So it depends on the level of the cuddling that you want. You and we need. see that it's also, from this report, we see that it is a means of um, um, easing stress. Mm. And so a lot of corporates have um, employed this mechanism to, to ease off stress for, for yeah, themselves. Okay. And yeah. even some people's spouses are aware that they engage professional cuddlers as services, mm. yes, as clients and all that. And so, but the danger of this, especially for female cuddlers, are those that um, require home service. Mm -hmm. They are exposed to the danger of sexual violence oh. by their clients. But we see that this, this report was a full two-paged um, um, report on punch. Mm -hmm. And we see that this is a thriving business. I didn't know that we are actually servicing in, it's been, it's been, it's, I don't understand. It's, it's, no, no, it's, no. it's been like that abroad. Yes. Yes. Yeah, just bring like me here. Yeah. Yeah. And we yeah. actually, That's many years actually, ago in China, yeah. that was the first place I noticed that they, 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 they do, do that. that. Yeah. And it was thriving. Human beings need eight hugs a day. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, and I some, some of us were not hugged when we were growing up. And so and we need the services. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> anyway, you should Push start collecting, collecting money now. Is that, is that what you're Yes, that's what I was saying. Vanguard, please. The major story here, Kadeso and Naira, what Nigerians should expect from the figures available to me. Tinubu has promised a lot more than CBN can legally provide. The alternative is to borrow using various instruments. Unfortunately, Buhari borrowed enough for three administrations before departing. This is a special report. Uh, talking about Kadosu and reviving the Naira. Then we look at uh, police review what killed Mobad, management of injury after a fight resulted in his death. Um, then Tinubu and the Igbo, a story you can find on page 24. Kanu mass wedding intended couples test positive to hepatitis B, HIV, pregnancy. I recall I took the story last week. And then uh, we see another story at the top corner. Pina story, putting the record straight. Ondo, APC halts impeachment of Akira Dolu's deputy, that's Ayeda Tiwa. And then 2.5 billion Naira Cancer Center in Kwara will reverse medical tourism in Nigeria. Governor Abdul Razak speaking there. How optimistic. Yeah. What's well, my story? So the Cancer Center in Kwara uh, will reverse medical tourism in Nigeria, says Governor Abdul Razak.
and um, Governor Abdul Rahman Abdul Razak of Kwara State said that the 2.5 billion oncology center intervention in the Abdul Samad Rabiu Africa Initiative, ASR Africa, uh, will reverse trending medical tourism in Nigeria. So he said this on Friday in Ilori while he was performing the groundbreaking ceremony of the state of the art project. And um, he also said the project will provide services in Nigeria and the entire West Africa region. He said the oncology center, when completed, will once again put Nigeria on the world map as a destination for quality and affordable cancer diagnostics and treatment center in the West Africa sub-region. He was excited about the project taking off and he says, I commend ISAR Africa under the chairmanship of Abdul Samad Rabiu for the takeoff of this project. And um, they thanked him. They said uh, they plan to put uh, these in the three um, geopolitical zones so that it covers all aspects of Africa. They are going to have one in Kwara. That's the one he was launching. There's another one that's coming in Benin and um, two other places. Um, I can't find them Once now. Once you go to the north. Yes, one is in the north, yeah. Okay, Ogun, Kwara, Edo, and Sokoto. Yes, and you know, this was a, a grant that they got, about 10 billion from mm. uh, Bua, B-U-A mm. company, who's majorly in charge, and they said they want to just position them in the geopolitical zone. So we have no reason to travel officials outside the country. use these facilities, because I, they are the ones that have the money, money to, to travel, travel abroad. Yeah. Someone like me and you now will look for a local hospital and go to. Mm -hmm. Let's hope. <laughs> <laughs> Who has one story? Because Let I me take uh, this uh, story from Kano. Kano mass wedding, intending couples test positive to hepatitis B, wow. HIV pregnancy. So this is a case pregnancy. of... Pregnancy? Yeah. Yep, yeah, like Sorry. some pregnancy of them are already pregnant. Ew. I was going to say that this is a case of uh, Wahala where bone streets. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this story is in line with the wedding that the Kano state government earmarked 854 million naira for mm. so 5,000 couples have been screened even though they only need about 1,800 couples so 40 of these 40 out of these couples have um, tested positive to hepatitis b hiv pregnancy and um, they have been replaced and placed on um, medications and counseling we found a tweet about a man who posted he and his three siblings and stated that all of them in that picture were long dead and he was the only one alive he added quote use your head and don't let love mislead you end quote now genotype issues cannot be overemphasized a lot of people ignore this fact and let love cloud their judgment what are your thoughts on this so join the conversation and call us on 081 0764-1679 or 090-241-63440. Or tweet to us at TVC Connect using the hashtag your view on TVC. Do not let love cloud your head or your judgment. But these days, people don't care. They just want to allow me. I love, I love, I love, I love, I love. And then when you get to that junction, <laughs> or when you get to the bridge, they'll tell you, when we get to that bridge, we'll know how we we'll cross it. Mm. Uh -huh. So right now, this is the situation on the ground. It's just unfortunate how mm -hmm. it is that a family with four children have lost three of them, mm -hmm. just one surviving. You can imagine the pain after nine months, taking care of these children, they got to a certain level and you are losing them. There is nothing you can do just to so help us understand the magnitude of the pain and the burden this family has to go through. Yes, one is left. But you can imagine how the parents receive this, their son, and, you know, the feeling of we should have been more than this. Mm -hmm. Or oh, the of, fear, the constant fear that the, this one can this still one, go. This one, maybe he's heirs as it is. Maybe. He may still not be. Maybe he's heirs, he may not be, but he is alive to tell the story and he's cautioning every other person. Mm -hmm. Love can shock you, but there are consequences. Use your head. Ensure that you count the mm -hmm. costs. Mm -hmm. Count your teeth. Know what you want to do before you get into it. But then, is love really blind as it is? Because some will tell you, love is blind and big. Let's, let's love enjoy ourselves. Love let's is not blind, though. Love is not blind. Love can see like this yeah. with extra four eyes. <laughs> but I think uh, a lot of people just uh, try to ignore the obvious. They see the red flags and still think that they can change things. We can surmount the challenge. Absolutely. And, you know, I think asking for 
your partner's genotype should be a first date question. When you yeah. go on your first date, what's your genotype? Before you even ask for, do you like movies? Where do you like to travel to? Ask that critical question first so that you can ascertain that you are compatible and then you won't have to subject yourself to loving this person, caring for them, investing time, money, energy, only for you to now find out later that you guys are not compatible. Because this has been the situation for couples who, are, who proceed to marry each other despite knowing that they are not compatible because they have invested so much some emotionally, know, financially. I said, for those who know, some mm -hmm. people know and they still go ahead to do it. I, I read a tweet um, some time ago and the lady was saying that she would proceed with the wedding because her pastor had assured her that, that God would do that it. God would do it. Exactly. So there are that, those that, who have that had God... divine intervention. No? Yes, there yeah, are those yes, who have had that. But yeah. why do you even want to subject yourself to that kind of trauma? Because when you have a sickle cell, I remember when I was in secondary school, there was a sickle cell patient in my class. It was so traumatic. Mm. She was always fainting, mm. always, today she's well, tomorrow she's not. Today she's well, like, it was, it was so traumatic for a lot of us. At some point, we were even thinking that uh, she was an Ogbanji. Mm. She wanted to just disturb her parents with that um, health issue. But she was just a sickle cell patient. So why would a parent, despite knowing that you're not compatible, or a person, despite knowing that you're not compatible with your partner, go ahead to bring these kids? Even these children would hate you mm. at some point because of the excruciating pain that they have to go yeah. through. I think couples do have to do their due diligence before proceeding to marriage. I agree with you. Yeah. Very important. Mm. Mm. Okay, so for this genotype conversation, I think that in the past, 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 I mean, maybe in the time of maybe our parents and our grandparents, we're used to having arranged marriages mm -hmm. without you really not knowing the genotype of this person. This person is my child's, is my friend's child. Oh, yeah, go and marry, Marie, right? And so there were no um, adequate information as to this genotype conversation. So th this is why, for me, I would excuse the generations that came before us. Because if they knew better, they probably would have done, done better. better. Mm. Exactly. Probably. But now, in this woke generation, we really almost do not have an excuse. We say love, yes. But at the end of the day, what, what would love have to suffer for you to be happy? Mm. Right? There's an expense. And so I met a friend of mine um, before I got married, and I was asking, because one of the things, my parents had also rang it in my ears, because we also had the sickle cell experience in some generations before, always ringing it, and so I was asking this guy, this guy was doing well, he, like a grown-up our age, and the next thing I said, what's your genotype? I said, what is genotype? Hey, hey, well, I'm not the joking. Hey, yes, so, I said it, that some people some don't people know. do not We're know about this genotype thing. <laughs> it sounds like genotype where we go, we go wing gum. Mm. But people do not know the impact, even as at today. So I'm glad that this conversation is coming up on your view a to way be of such that, people. yes, it is a way of educating mm. and shedding the light um, regarding this genotype conversation. And so, um, for people that want to date, it may sound like you're being spooky, saying that what is your genotype as part of the first set of conversations, where it saves a lot of time for nonsense. Mm -hmm. Because at the end, when you've invested you so many so you've invested your time, you've invested emotion. your emotions. Energy. 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 You've gone out, you've spent money. Yes. <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> why are you, you, know, you carrying us to no, where we don't no, know? No, you invest for the count too. <laughs> you know, even yeah, if you're yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, very right. You've right. invested a lot of things and yeah. then you now find out that this person mm. is not compatible with you. I have a friend that will say that. Um, if you introduce her to somebody, she say, I beg, what if you enjoy the type? I don't get time. Mm. Please, what is she it? She must have had an experience. Yes, yeah. she, she's also AS. Oh, anyway, aware. so she is she's putting, aware. She's aware. She's a bit older than I am, but she's aware. And she's saying, I cannot risk this thing, probably because she has seen experiences mm. and she doesn't want it to happen to her. It, it's, 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 it's very Those important. Are my initial thoughts. Yes, there used to be a doctor growing up, and he and his wife, his wife was a nurse. Uh, they had, like, I think three four boys. Only one of them was uh, AS, I think. The others were SS. Mm. The body was huge. One had permanent leg sore, Ew. leg oh, ulcer. Oh. <clears throat> Thank God the, he, the parents were doctors. So mm. you can just imagine the body they were going through, 
having to treat that. Today, mm. the guy is okay. Next week, you see him, his legs wrapped. One thing is swollen. Mm. And they were intelligent. Hi. Yeah. They were intelligent. I don't know what happened to them much later know. because everybody went their separate ways in terms of uh, we leaving that, that space. And they too left that space. And we later learned their mom died. Oh, my God. I can only imagine the burden on their dad. And if they went ahead to have relationships, the burden on their wives, even though their wives may not be SS, yeah. the yeah. burden on their wives, yeah. taking care of them. Yeah. There are those who have been able to manage it. Some situation is not as dire, but there are yeah. those who have dire situation as it is. Yeah. What we are saying today is just about the implication, mm. yeah. the burden, how much toll it takes on their caregivers, as it is. It may be a parent, it may be a wife or a husband. Mm. The burden, Absolutely. the toll it takes, mm. is beyond the I love you today. Mm. It's oh. beyond it. It's a lot. So, um, it's not every bridge that is worthy of crossing. Mm. Absolutely. When you're young and you're starting life, sometimes we want to just close our eyes to some things we could have avoided because of how we are feeling in the moment. Mm. But we need to begin to have conversation. And this conversation would have to start very early, even with our children. So understand that you cannot just take decisions without thinking through. You cannot take decisions without envisaging, OK? The implications. The implications. What, what would happen at the end of the day? If this outcome comes, am I ready? to face the consequences of this decision I'm taking today. And uh, we see that a lot of, so on this table, we constantly talk about this topic over and over because like somebody rightly mentioned, some people still are not aware mm -hmm. of what the genotype is. Some people are not aware of the implications. I have a family member who has, um, she had four children, she's lost two. Mm -hmm. Now, I remember I was just um, graduating from the university when she was about getting married to this guy. She was in a hurry, so to speak, because she was, I think, about 28. And she felt, oh, to start dating somebody else again. No, I can't. Oh, this person, I love this person. While everybody was warning her that this ASAS will not work. She felt they wanted to scatter the relationship. Mm -hmm. She felt God was by her side. The miracle would happen. Blah, 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 blah. Long story short, she got into the relationship and it's from one hospital trip to the other. The two kids she's lost, these kids are brilliant. That's the thing. Always these kids are amazing. Brilliant. In fact, before the last one died, he told her, he said, Mommy, you shouldn't have done this. Oh, wow. hey, mommy, you shouldn't have done this. Let oh me goodness. go. Mm. Oh, no. Let me go. Just mm. let the pain is, I can't bear this pain. The pain is too much. Let me go. She cried. But this could have been avoided. So but at the time, it seemed like if this person does not marry me, my life will scatter. Mm. There is no one person meant for one person. Absolutely. We need to understand that. If it doesn't work with this person, it will work with the other person. So you just have to be a good human being to attract another good human being and you will make your life's work and you have a fantastic home. So that's, uh, I'm in love. I'm, and I, I, I was having a conversation with my friend yesterday. She's still in my house. She came for the weekend. And she said she realized that these ASAS people always find each other attractive. <laughs> what is wrong with them? Okay. Why we'll do they about, attract each other? We, we'll talk about this attraction when we, we are done with uh, Engineer Haruna, who is calling from Mina. Engineer, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Uh, good morning. Thank you very much uh, for bringing this up. Mm. Are you hearing me? Yes, yeah. we can hear you. Yeah. yeah, thank you very much for bringing this up. Because okay. uh, it's a serious problem across the entire country. Mm. It's unfortunate that at this age we are still battling with this uh, reality. Right. I think uh, at best what we could be doing now is to just break it down to family level to ensure that each family is adequately educated, sorry, educated and enlightened about it. But in the long run, what we can do is to bring about a legislation, what at state and federal level, to ensure that before any marriage, it's a comment on any intending couples to make sure that they are tested. But for the genotype and other other diseases as well that are very uh, dangerous to marriage. So I think that is the surest way to go. At the moment, we we'll make sure that at family levels, community level, our uh, churches marks, we enforce it to make sure that 
couples are tested before marriage. Let it become a crime that if you get married mm -hmm. without this test, it will become a, a crime. And that is what women can do at the long, at the, at the long run. And that's my case. Thank you very much. Thank yeah. you, Engineer Aruna, for your contribution. Can I finish here my thoughts? Mm. So, um, for the benefit of a robust conversation, uh, we have uh, that science has come up with a way to sort of solve this problem, but then it costs money. They will tell you that there's a way you can marry. Stem cell. Yes, they will do I stem cell isolation and all those giddy bag giddy things expensive. that they used to do. Wait now. Then you will now be eliminating. So if you they check the pregnancy, it's AS, you have to eliminate. The and then people, yeah. and I'm like, that is committing another one. Mm -hmm. Why am I eliminating? Okay, so the, Why the am stem I going cell to... is different from mm -hmm. that one. Mm -hmm. No, so there's stem cell. There's one that... They will check, test the pregnancy. Yeah. Uh, so the if genotype of, of the baby. baby if, if the genotype is, is ASS, AS, AS, they will eliminate, eliminate the baby. So that elimination, how long do I want to be putting myself under that DNC? Because I'm in love with you and I must marry you, and if it's not you, I will die. So probably you check me five times, and I have five, um, uh, four yes. out of that five, I have S. Yes. That means I go and eliminate yes. the, the yes. four, the four pregnancies. And for me, I just feel it's ridiculous. Very. Why do I want to go through that? Why do I want to put myself through that? Why do I want to, uh, and I know some people will say, Maybe the spirit the or the soul. Wait. For, for love. So. I don't like that kind of price. <laughs> the spirit or the soul of the child has not entered at a certain age. I don't know. But I, I feel like I'm killing yeah. life. Yeah. That's murder. Yes. I feel like I'm doing something bad. Oh. So why do I want to put myself in that situation? What I also see, Veronica, is the fact that we don't have enough um, self-love. No, no. Self-love. We don't think... If you're aware, you will love yourself. If you love yourself, you will not want to see. You would rather end the relationship mm -hmm. at the talking stage. Or even if you have gone deep, you now realize you would rather end that when relationship than right putting yourself, yeah. putting your unborn children, putting the children that you finally give birth to under such stress in the name of love. I don't see that as love. I see that as weakness. You cannot stand to say no. Love is also... Your ability to say no. Love no, is also your ability wait. to reject something okay. that doesn't work for you. Right. So let's 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 work on ourselves. There right, are women right that have worked right away. Is waiting for oh, us. sorry, my uh -huh. Bright. <laughs> Bright. Please go ahead with your contribution. Bright is calling from Agor Palace. Go ahead. Yeah, hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Bright. Okay, concerning the topic on ground, I like to say this. Um now how do I conquer that the consequences are there is see coming? And how do I conquer the consequences I choose to ignore, though I saw it. Mm. That love is so beautiful, but yet it is not love that is blind, but men are choose to be blind mm. over right. love. Right. Now, now, the thing is this. Not quite long, I heard um, Carolyn call her name. She said something. She mentioned something about being selfish. Uh, what I see is this. Men choose to be self-centered when it comes to them loving they don't understand that there is more to love. It, it has nothing to do with just the two, the, man, the male and the female. There is more picture to it. So because they choose to be self-centered when they want to love and uh, just want to do their thing, not seeing or having this understanding that there is more to come into this love. Mm. There are people, humans, who are also coming in as well. So mm -hmm. if they choose not to be selfish, they can choose to disconnect what they know will bring about issues to the others that are meant to come in as well. Right. So that's my take on it. Anyway. Thank you. Thank you so much, Bright, for, for this uh, interesting perspective that you have given. Understanding love, knowing that you don't have to be self-centered. And this conversation is very important for generation that we have today. Mm -hmm. okay. they, do, they don't see beyond themselves. Uh -huh. It's about me, myself, and I. But from what we are saying and what uh, the Bright just said, you should count the cost about those whom you are bringing into uh, your, your generation or lineage as it is. Save them the pain, save them the agony. Recall what you said. I mean, I could just imagine what was on the mom's face when mm, the, the child was saying, that. you shouldn't have done this. You shouldn't have done this. Is, is it now she'll start regretting? Mm. What will that change? Exactly. Nothing. 
I'll, I, I think there's a need to emphasize what you said, but maybe in another way. There is not one person that you can marry in this world. Mm -hmm. So when it is that a woman is feeling like, if I don't marry this person, or a man is feeling like, if I don't marry this I person, die. I die, or my world is, is, is gone, right? And it sometimes may be difficult for, to move on from that space where it is that you've invested so much in this person and you are finding it difficult to That's move what on. Saying, you, would you, always, you would always find somebody else. It may take a while, it may yeah. take some time for you to move on. But please, for the sake of those children that are not yet born, please move on. And so I think also that we need to call out those um, religious authorities or religious men of God that sometimes may encourage, based on the story that you, you shared, would encourage some people to still go ahead and say that God, I've seen it, that you will never have a child like this, you know, and they would have put in so much what confidence. What did you see as an individual? They would have put in so much confidence in such a person, saying that go ahead, nothing, you see. And whereas when they now go through it, the pastor maybe may have moved on from there. So they have forget even, from that spiritual mood. Even some parents too. Yeah. Maybe, especially if they have a lot at stake, maybe two families are well-to-do and all that. So they may have issues or reasons why their children should go ahead with somebody. But at the end of the day, they just know that now you go there inside that experience. You're the one that wastes a lot of resources, feel the pain, feel the hurt, feel the hurtful words that would come from your children, saying, for instance, mm. you shouldn't have I've done, done this. this. Yes. Right. We, we have Aisha on the line calling from Mina. Aisha, good morning. Go ahead. Good morning, ma. My Good morning. Name is Aisha. I'm calling from Nina. Yes, welcome. I have a living testimony because three days ago we mm. lost our daughter. Oh, so sorry. Thank so you, ma. Sorry. In my family, we have more than 50 people from my cousins, my nephew. Yeah. The other one. Aisha, are you there? Ima. Hey, okay, go ahead now. Thank you. We can the hear you now. The other one we lost last two months. She is oh. about to get bed. And oh, last goodness. week we lost another one. She's in 400 level. And day before yesterday we lost one in the street. Uh -uh. So we are still doing on that money. By the time you ask the man, go and make the test. They will go and push the result oh. until when the pregnancy comes. Uh -uh. So you see, we have to make this awareness. Let people know this is a crime. Because you take your child after the three, that person will not leave you. So it's not easy. We have to shout and tell the young girl, the police, they should shine their eyes. They should shine their eyes. That girl was going through trauma. She had to leave the three. Hmm. And now she has three of her younger ones. They are still passing the send up. Aisha? I think we've gotten, thank you, Aisha, for that call. We, we've, sorry, it, so sorry. It's a sad, really sad one for, for you and your family. Oh. Uh, we can only extend our heartfelt condolences to your family. And yes, we do not understand the magnitude of how things are with your family and mm -hmm. the feelings, but we can only hope that you get through this as time goes on. It's just unfortunate. Yes. Yeah. I am a firm believer of that mantra, love is not enough. I know we have hammered, hammered on needs a lot since this conversation started. You cannot just be saying because you are in love with this person and then subject your whole life to a, a lifetime of turmoil and sadness. Because at the end of the day, there, there are also financial burdens because the cost of training these children, investing... If you have the money, you can maybe save for a bone marrow transplant, mm -hmm. which is not even very straightforward. Mm -hmm. It's not cheap. It's not very straightforward. You can do it and Regular. you may not be successful. So couples should be very intentional. And then another thing I want to say is that even if you want to go ahead and love this person by force, by fire, it's not a must that you have children. You can decide to adopt. You can decide to, I don't know if surrogacy works in this situation, but people need to start um, embracing the There's fact that options. you can be, yeah, you can be a mother through other options, options. exactly, and not force the whole process. Yeah. While I am a firm believer of miracles, I know that, that miracles happen. I've heard so many testimonies of um, cases of AS or SS being turned to AA and all of that. But sometimes I think we, we stress God unnecessarily mm. because 
in a situation where a couple has already known that, okay, they are not compatible, and then they still went ahead, hoping that God will swing his miracle. God will be there thinking, but I give you signs now. Why are you stressing me? Mm. So sometimes these people will be like, oh, I prayed and it did not happen. But then there were signs all along and you decided to ignore. Now, we've been looking at uh, the story of a tweet or a man that we found on Twitter, X actually. And he posted uh, a picture where he and his three siblings were in and he stated that um, all of them except him are all dead. And he says, use your head and don't let love mislead you and we've been having persons join the conversation so you can also join us and call us on 0810764 or 0902416340 or tweet to us at TVC Connect using the hashtag your view on TVC. Now there's also the dimension of um, some centers giving fake results, like we saw Aisha, who called for Mina, say mm. that they got some fake results. Mm. And I recall that there was this family, um, they said they did every test, they lost their son. Mm. That was when they discovered that actually there is a matter of SS in the family yeah. because all the tests they had done had, did not show that there was AS mm. or SS as mm. it was. So it showed that they were good, they got married, had their kid, but this kid, you know, started falling ill and it came as a surprise when they went to do a test and found out that this was what the situation was. Mm -hmm. And they were wondering how come, because all the results they had gotten before then had shown a, 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 a different results, so to speak. So I, I think that we need to look into this aspect of results that you get at these centers where people go yeah. to test. Yes, which I also blame, um, you know, when a child is giving birth to, all the tests are run on the child. Mm. I know my children's genotype mm -hmm. because they went through their immunization. I will blame the government to some extent because of the fact that we really do not have proper data. These are not information that you wait till you're 30 something to even be finding out what your genotype is. It's, it should be at the tip, at your fingertips, you know, what's your blood group, what's your genotype. It's something that you should know as an individual, which from the time you're growing up, from your immunization cards, your parents would even That's know. if you have functioning no, healthcare centers. No, 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 no. Uh, we, or we, any hospital. Even in those days, we had functioning health centers, but it's not spread Across. Across yeah. And because of um, the illiteracy of some people, they don't, they don't even pay attention to it. Because I knew my genotype as a child mm -hmm. from my, my set, birth medical certificate, card. my medical card, and you know, the hospitals, the federal government hospitals I've been using. Uh, you were always, to go to. Mm, I always, so, so the hospital that every child is giving birth to has a responsibility to know the child's genotype. Parents have a responsibility as you go for, as your kids are growing, should have this conversation. They know their genotype. Everybody knows the genotype. And the demand house. for it if it's not done. It should be done in the hospitals. But and if it's not, yeah, you demand. demand for it, right? So that when these kids are growing up, as they're meeting friends, it's a conversation that, are, what's your, like, I'll ask you, what's your blood group, Seth? Mm. Oh, you're not supposed to be eating too much meat. We discuss these things normally. Genotype should be a part of that conversation. Mm -hmm. So the government needs to do something about this. Um, the private hospitals need to ensure that every child who has been given birth to well, no, they should know the way they know their blood group. What is the difference? Is it not one blood they collect to do all the tests? Mm -hmm. They know the blood group, they should know the genotype. Let like the parents know the genotype of the child. When the child is growing up in schools, they do immunization, they let everybody know their genotype. So it saves us the problem of I'm 30 something and I still don't know what you're talking about when you mention Absolutely. genotype. I'm happy that this is a technological area right now. We, our young people are so informed in so many things. And I know that they are selfish, but I don't think their selfishness is like that of our parents. Mm. These people are selfish for themselves, so they will not want to open their eye and do ASAS. Mm. I don't see this Gen Z as people that can deal with the stress. Exactly. Because the truth of the matter is every marriage relationship would undergo crisis. Mm -hmm. But in your elimination process, you determine the kind of crisis you want to carry. Mm -hmm. That's why you must be smart when you're picking a partner and you're having conversations. Mm -hmm. The regular marriage, oh, we have issues, money. Mm -hmm. We have issues in law. Mm -hmm. Some people have different, different issues. You now want to add Picking sick today, tomorrow you're in the hospital. There are people who cannot follow their career. Mm -hmm. 
mm. because they are constantly nursing their children. Absolutely. You now want to add that kind of huge, and burden. you may not even have money. You may not even be blessed to have money. And you carry that burden on top of in-law. Maybe in-law is punishing you from one corner. <laughs> Side chick is punishing your husband from one corner. The king is ASing you and FSing you from one corner. That's a lot. It's a lot of work. Yeah. So please put yourself first. Leave that love. If you see another person in a few years, you will fall in love again. Exactly. Leave it. Yeah, there's a real life situation mm. here on mm. YouTube from Olua Familayo, and she says, I was in a relationship like that when I found when I found out that he was AS as me, I made him understand that the relationship yeah. would not work. Mm. And I also told him that I wasn't a Christian or, or believer like him but he said that we should go ahead that god will turn every negative result into positive okay. she said no she stood her grounds mm. and she ended the relationship and that was how she was able to leave mm -hmm. that, that's a, that's she, a she understood the right consequences yeah. and she decided she was going to take her her future mm -hmm. in her hands okay. as it is mm -hmm. she did not have the same level of faith with him she exactly. stated it clearly to him mm -hmm. he wanted to drag her along but she said no I don't, yes, I am not, I don't exactly. have this level of faith. Even if I have that level Calm of faith. Calm down, I'm following what she's saying. <laughs> Calm down. You are I don't getting... want to use that faith for that one. I want to no. use faith to make money. Uh, of course, you can use faith <laughs> the, whichever way you want to. But she is <laughs> stating, really? there are those who want to drag you along. That's mm. where I'm going. Yeah. That I have the faith that can cover both of us. Mm. But she's saying, no, <laughs> I, can, I cannot do it. Do it. <laughs> yes, and I uh, that is where it is. So if you understand Absolutely. that if someone is bringing faith to you, I'm trying, I'm going somewhere. Okay. If someone is bringing faith mm. to you, mm -hmm. and you know that you have not grown to that level of faith, please let the person know. Take it back. Yes. A, a, take a step backward. And another, up, oh. my, my, my brother, my sister, you see, this journey that you are going, may yeah. the Lord help you. But you see, I cannot come with you. I'm still growing mm. in faith, and so I cannot follow you. Mm. Let me get to that level of faith or find someone who it will we help me the same as a hell. We are at the same level as it is. It's important we state that clear Absolutely. when it comes to faith. Yes, we know miracles happen. Mm -hmm. I've seen it. Mm -hmm. I have experienced it. Absolutely. But we know if your faith cannot carry it, don't go there. Mm -hmm. Toby. Yes. Not every child was actually born in a hospital. Yeah, Especially traditional birth attendants. Yes, in this, our country. Yeah. So when we're speaking about genotype, they're saying, ah, ah, me where they don't even born me for hospital. So they, they may not My even understand gone. what we're saying, mm -hmm. but we see that these conversations are very vital. And then I think that it is very unfair to fake a result mm -hmm. of your genotype because you want somebody to marry you. And sometimes it's not essentially a case yeah. of forging the result. We see that some laboratories are not equipped enough to give the adequate result because there are people that have believed all along that all even going to multiple um, laboratories, they'll find out that they still have a wrong result, right? So I have a personal experience. So I remember that when I was about to get married, when I started dating my husband, we had this conversation. Sorry, my boyfriend. We had this conversation. What's your genotype? Said it's A. I said, okay, let's go ahead. And so when it began getting serious, I told my mom about it. And my mom was like, you have to tell him to do a blood test. And he did the blood test. He brought the result. I showed my mom. My mom said, okay. You guys can, you are good to go. Do you know that like a few months into, like the wedding was supposed to be like two months. Mm -hmm. My mom said, please, you should do another test. I'm not convinced again. Well, at that point, he was beginning to get upset that what is all this self? Mm -hmm. Isha went again to do it. Gratefully, the result was A. So we got married. And do you know what my husband did? He put that result on our fridge. <laughs> Yes, till our first child was born. Anytime we pass the fridge, you say, that's your result though. Eh? We will pass again. I'll say, remove this thing, at least we know. You say no, the stress you will to put, me through. put me through. But I'm grateful that it did. It was worth it. Mm. Yes, it was worth it. Because we don't have that, you know, question um, to going, worry I'm about. To there. Yes, I'm going to come there. But we have Agada on the line calling from Abuja. Agada, good morning. Go ahead with your contribution. Okay, good morning, Nancy. Good morning. Good morning. I really love your program. Thank you. I do dedicate myself on Saturday to listen to you. Chai, thank you so much. You. Oh. Just like a journalist hangout. So, ah, thank you. Is my is my television. Thank you. The topic of today is loving. Mm. And how I wish government should enact a law 
that anybody who wants to get married more to do a certificate showing his his or her genocide. Mm. Honestly, we are missing rules, and there's a lot of issues around. I know someone that has almost four children. As I'm talking to you, in hospital after hospital, which is not healthy for the society. Mm. So I love the way people are discussing the ladies in the house. All of you are very good, nice looking, and Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Agada, for your time. Thank you. You know, while you were speaking, I just thought about what if you say you're having a conversation with someone you met and, and in the, you ask the person, what's your genotype? And the person lied to you. Hmm. Uh -uh. Betrayal. There's, there are people and the person there. lied to they you. Actually exist. Mm -hmm. Of course. They exist. How do you handle yes. that? You, because the person already knows where you're headed. And maybe the person has had an experience where some persons he I loved or she it. loved mm -hmm. asked these questions. And because of that, he's had a series of broken relationships. And he's saying, this one, no, oh, I died here. Died here. So mm -hmm. the thing is, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, you'll still find out. Yeah. The marriage can still break. See that run, you're running away from broken relationship. It's better you have, I used to tell people, it's better you have 15 broken relationships and have a good marriage at the end of the day that mm. takes you on a long journey, long haul, than for you to have only one relationship and have broken marriages. Mm. So we have to pick our hustle. If this person mm. lied, at the end of the day, you find out by crook or by hook, or probably as you're about getting married, you now finally want to take the test, and you have even bought ash. People have paid for ashwebi. Uh -huh. People have, you have paid for haul. If you have respect, and love for yourself, you will still take yourself out of that relationship. Mm. You owe nobody an apology. Mm -hmm. You owe nobody any ah society's expectation. You must be married. Yeah. You must. Uh, uh, what, what, what would they say about me? Your parents will not be trying to blackmail you. Hey, they will not say I had a child. Oh, that the marriage has failed. Oh, you own your parents. You don't owe them that. You don't owe anybody that because at the end of the day, it is your life. Uh, when we started the show, when I joined the show recent, uh, newly, uh, there was a time we had this conversation and then uh, a guest came on the show who was actually an SS. So we wanted to hear, how is your experience? You have survived to this age. Mm -hmm. What would you advise people? You know, can you still give us the go ahead? Because at least you are alive today, you are an adult, you are doing well, blah, 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 blah. And the person looked at us eyeball to eyeball and said, no. Don't do it. Mm. This is someone living in the experience. I said yeah. it is not a palatable one. Absolutely not. Every time the parents are constantly, do you know what it means for a parent to constantly be worrying Even of at their the own welfare age. Mm -hmm. of their children, the well-being of their, they are constantly, so the fear is always there that I don't know, hey, this birthday now, you are 15, God, do. Oh, you are 16, Godo. You are 17, Godo. Your heart is constantly in your, your mouth, mouth. Yeah. because you don't know. We've seen people who go to 28, yeah. and they go. Yeah. I know people, someone who is over prime. 50. Yes, mm. and they go. Yeah. At any point, it doesn't mean death will not come, yeah. right? But, but the some, struggles. The struggle that you go through. There are people who are constantly in the hospital. They are constantly sick. They are constantly having crisis. Every day, your picking is looking at you. Mommy, <laughs> looking at why? you, mommy, why, mommy? The, the, the agony on that parent. Do you want that? No, he rather for the altar. I carry my bag. You lie to me, I can't continue. I carry my bag and I go with my whole self, my mental health, my self-respect. Whatever people want to say should not bother me. When I'm ready, I will bounce back by the grace of God. And God will not judge me because you lied to me. Mm. So let's, let's, let's not allow people just bamboozle. In fact, you shouldn't start a relationship or marriage on the foundation of lies. Yes. In the first place. In the first it's wrong. Place. It's wrong. It will scatter. It will not be stable. Yeah. Yes, you may say forgiveness and all. We'll forgive each other. But mm -hmm. anyway, let's get your perspective. I think we should take the conversation to you know, discrimination against people living with the disease. Yeah. Because you even find people that have the genotype AA saying, no, I do not want to get married to a, a sickle cell um, person, per person mm. or person living with this um, disease. So as an AA, as a person with the AA genotype, mm -hmm. consider yourself as a gift to mankind. Ah, a because shame. Exactly. A shame. <laughs> consider yourself as a gift to mankind. <laughs> I, don't, I do not think that you should uh, discriminate against anybody living with this disease. And, and that's if you can see or you, you, 
so far they, can, they have been able to manage their situation because just like you said, you know somebody who is about 50 years old. Yeah. Uh, still about, yes, yes. Yes. It's so th there are ways where you can manage the situation. So if you can help that person to diffuse their genotype with yours, please do it. Do not are you just a -A? cancel them. Uh, I'm AA. Uh, we have... I don't we mind. We have Kulia okay, from the island. island. <laughs> <laughs> Kulia, good morning. Go ahead with her contribution. Hello, good morning. Good morning. morning. Yeah, my name is Kulia from Ireland. Thank you very much for calling. Republic of Ireland. Right. Yes, I just want to. I I love. I'm I'm calling for the first time on the TV show. Oh, right. show. And, uh, thank you for calling. I was I was impressed when I see when I saw the program, and I can see that this is exactly what's happening to me right now. Oh. Um. I met my wife when we were in, in the university, and. Uh, you know, before you get into the university, when you were doing your admission process, you will yeah. be asked to do all these medicals and all that. Mm -hmm. That was when I did my own genotype. And I was given um, results for AA. Okay. My wife was um, is actually AS. So when we were dating, I said that, oh, there is no problem. We can go ahead. And we ended up marrying ourselves later. The all issues come back when I when I am already in um, Ireland and my wife and family they were still in Nigeria. So okay. and my last I have I have four kids. So my last um, child is a uh, SS. Oh, how come? And I How only come? got to know when she, when she is, uh, when she was, uh, um, I think three years old. Hmm. So all the even the, the genotype, the um, the other results that we did in at the hospital then didn't come as essence. See, so I was in Europe when my wife called me. Can you believe? The results I just got now, I said, what is it? Mm. She was very, very angry with me, very annoyed, thinking I, I lied to her mm. when we were dating. I oh. said I did not lie. I was only following the result I got oh. in school. Oh. But thanks God now, we were all here now, and the way, you know, the way the uh, white people, the way they take care of it, yeah. Uh, they, I think, you know, they, they don't have uh, essence in their own blood, uh, something. The whites, they don't have essence. I think yeah. essence is only peculiar to, to the black. Yeah. So when they see that, they, 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 they take it as a serious something. Mm, and yeah. now, what I'm um, pulling out now, what I'm trying to say now is the... the the uh, stress I go through now, because we have to go to the hospital every eight weeks to do blood transfusion hey. so that the girl can survive. Every eight weeks, we go to the hospital. They change the blood and replace it with another blood. And her blood is so real that in the whole of Ireland, maybe one or two people have that kind of blood. Oh, wow. So, you see, you see the kind of experience we have, we have been through, and we are still going through it. So, it is very, very important for people to know their genotype. Even when, when, someone, when someone you are dating tells you, oh, this is what I have, you should take the person, both of you should go to the hospital, do the proper test, and get the result, no eat. Mm. And you know how to go from there. Mm. I, I, my own mistake was that I relied on the school results, mm. which I'm I very, very sure that they gave me the wrong results. Yeah. Then yeah. I didn't do it from any other hospital. I only used that result. Yeah. 
So that is it. Thank you. I just want to... Th th thank you. Thank you, Kunle, up. for sharing your, your thoughts and your experience. It's just a, a sad one. There's this comment on Facebook, um, YouTube that says, from Somi Agbola, it says genotype and blood group is one of the tests that laboratory scientists struggle with yeah. in terms of result accuracy. Mm. He goes on to say that it is better to always have a second and third mm. opinion on the results. Mm. Very, mm. very important. Yeah. Like we were just saying, you see, mm. I'm happy that they were able to resolve it. He and his wife were able to resolve the issue mm. because she felt he lied. Yeah, I know, but do you one? They have money to be doing blood transfusion Fusion every two, eight every weeks. eight weeks. Ha! Ah, see the body. The financial the stress. But I, I wanted to talk to. No, I'm 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 gonna go easy on you. I like. <laughs> Bring it on. Uh, <laughs> to Bring talk on. about you know what what she, she said. She, yeah. yeah, she said um, discrimination. So yeah. I I don't agree with discriminating people who have SS. I, I think we should show them love. Uh, it's not their fault that they are mm. where they are. Absolutely. Uh, it's not their fault that they came in from the decisions made by their parents, right? So we should show them love. However, uh, we should show them love to the capacity that we can. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So not everybody has the emotional bandwidth to nurture other people, especially full blood. Some people struggle to nurture their own children. Mm -hmm. Let's not even forget that. Not everybody has that capacity to nurture a full-blown individual. And so they may say, they may be in love and realize that, oh, this person is SS. This person takes how many trips to the hospital? Do I have the capacity. energy? Do well, I have the capacity to do this? So up. if that person decides to take themselves out of the relationship, we shouldn't blame them to say, ah, you discriminated or you abandoned this person. Mm. Because they don't have. There are people who are great nurturers. Yeah. As a matter of fact, they have, they have Messiah complex. <laughs> they look for people they want to rescue. Those are the people that should marry them. So Absolutely. we're constantly rescuing you every time, and I feel good. But if you're not in that space, it will be unfair because we have heard, do not discriminate. And you put yourself, you in, a, yes. that, that's put yourself in a situation in. where you are now constantly drained, Absolutely. resentful, yes. complaining. You know, sometimes one it, it partner will have health issues, and yeah. the other one will carry their bag and be going. Yes. Like I can't so, so, deal. So you should understand your capacity yes. as it is. I, I totally we do agree not agree with discrimination. Mm. It's not At ideal. All. For whatever situation you find yourself, mm -hmm. don't discriminate against anyone mm -hmm. because they did not choose that situation as it is. Nobody yeah. chooses trouble. Nobody chooses pain. Mm -hmm. But then they found themselves in it. But understand yourself. Mm. Mm. Know what you if, can take. if you know that you cannot stomach all of these issues, for instance, we had someone saying they go to hospital every eight, eight weeks. weeks. Can you handle it? There are those who have, you know, just stopped working, stopped their career, stopped everything about their lives just to address or nurture people, these yeah. children, mm -hmm. not because they actually want it, but because it's a situation they found themselves mm -hmm. and it's their decision that is putting them in that situation. So they have to deal with it, mm -hmm. yeah. right, as a parent. But if you know that you cannot handle it as a person that wants to marry somebody, Tell yourself the truth. I got to and a point in it. my life, right? Be before, before I got married, I got to a point I said I'll be responsible mm -hmm. for my actions. Mm -hmm. I will take consequences for whatever decisions I make. I'm not going to blame another person for that decision. Oh, because they are pressuring me to get married. Yeah. They are, I'm being pressured to take certain steps. But it is me that will wear the shoes and I know where it will pinch me mm -hmm. as it is. So I decided to take that responsibility. And so when it was time to get married and it was, oh, yeah, that, that, that I said, no. Leave them on me want them. No, I'm the one that will get married. Are you going to stay in the house with me? Mm -hmm. When I am, <laughs> oh I'm serious. So I am serious with you. <laughs> when I am going through perhaps challenges, mm -hmm. will you be there with me? Be I can't come and knock on your door every day and say, "See this situation, mm. oh, you'll get tired of me." Yeah, absolutely. Of course, we, because we all have a threshold for absolutely. whatever it is, complaints, mm. situation. My, your shoulder can get tired sometimes mm. if you say, "Okay, I can give you my shoulder to lean on." Let me lean on. Let me lean on. Let me lean on. Let me add something small, not not as heavy as um, um, SS. Uh, there's this uh, family member who was about to get married to this girl. They were dating for a while, and we realized that this girl was constantly sick. Yes. Anytime she's coming to visit, 
they have medications upon medications upon sure. medications upon medication, constantly sick. We saw this and everybody spoke up. Are you sure you are ready? You are just starting your life. You want to use all your salary to be buying medicine? This, there's one thing worrying her on this side, another one on the other side, another one, every part of her body has issues. I say, are you ready? He said, no, we're in love, we'll be fine. Hmm? Married. They're not married. Every time, brother is complaining. I'm spending all the money, but say, well, don't complain. It's, you, you saw it. Oh, yeah. She did not you. hide it. We told you. She did not pretend about it. You decided to carry your youth when you're supposed to be building your life, to be paying bills over and over and over and over. I said, don't complain. Chest it. Chest it. So that goes down to bearing the consequences, consequences of, of the actions. decisions that you take. Everybody yeah. should be an adult enough mm. to yeah. carry their consequences. Yeah, I, I'll come to that, but still be. I remember this guy when I was an undergraduate. I liked him. He liked me. Ah. But... One thing I noticed was that I was always falling sick. Oh. But it didn't look like a sickle sick cell. Yeah. But I noticed that any small thing, he would say, ah, I went to the hospital. Ah, I'm, going to the Leg uh, I'm going to Lagos. What happened? I'm sick. I looked at it and said, I like this guy. This guy likes me. But this I don't sickness. think I can spend the rest of my life nurturing somebody. Like, because me too, I know they get patients. Mm -hmm. You see, there are people, just to buttress what you said, that are wired for things they are not sure as and they can mm. go through that yeah. right and i think that marriage counseling is overrated it's underrated, underrated because a lot of people just feel like ah, they're disturbing me though marriage counseling for what i like you talk your own back you know and <laughs> i like you too <laughs> and they get married mm. but it is in this marriage counseling classes especially for the christian faith right faith that you would find things like um go for blood tests, go for blood group tests, yeah. and then there's also this resource that they talk about. I don't know if we know about factor. resource factor. Mm. It is another fundamental that conversation that a lot of people don't know. Uh -huh. A lot of people don't know about it, but it is very, very integral in choosing this. Well, maybe not choosing, but there's an injection that you should take before, before, you, get before you get pregnant. Mm. Then after if you get pregnant. If your happen. factors, your figures are not the same, if not, every child that that person um, tries to give birth to would be aborted. Yeah. Mm. You won't, the person won't successfully. And so, like a miscarriage. So these are conversations that we must a have. lot of people still are not aware of. Yes, there's but so there are much really, really awareness valid that has to conversations. Yes. There's so much awareness so much. that has to go on. Yes. Then I just want to point, um, touch on the matter you raised about someone falling ill. Now, another way to help is to direct this person in the way of help if you know how to mm. help them. Mm. Again, it is not the person's making mm -hmm. that they want to fall ill or they are having all of these challenges. Mm. If they are coming close to you and you know that you can point them in the direction where they can find help, that's another way to show love. Yeah. Yeah. You don't love have to be the one. So yeah. you can show, show them love. Now love them back. They're they're not they're not they're not they're not they're not they're you are one of those Ooh, that will love them. them. You are you one of them. Like, I can love because them. she was yes. saying, come to us. Come Very good. Yes. <laughs> but the, the truth is, you can show love in various dimensions. Mm -hmm. Pointing the person in the way of help yeah. is a way to go. If you know this person is always falling ill, let's even go through what is the situation? What's your challenge? Mm. Have you done certain tests? Have you gone to the hospital? What, what, what are the issues that are going on with you? Have you, how are you meeting up with your, your times of appointments with the hospital? What are you doing exactly to get mm. better? Mm -hmm. That's a way of loving somebody. I yeah. hope you know. Yeah, that's love. That's, that's love, oh. That's love. It's not a matter of we must get married. Mban. We, we can do other things outside of getting married yeah. to show love. Yeah. We must understand that. You can help someone to be better. You can just point them in the direction of help is important. Let's not always think that yeah. marriage is the only is way the only to, only to, yes. to show love. Let, let, let me quickly jump in there and to expatiate on how serious this matter is. I'm going to read out this um, statistics that says about 50 million people are living with SCD globally, and Nigeria is the epicenter zone with about four to six million people living with the disease. Mm. One in every four Nigerians has a sickle cell trait. Wow. It shows One that every four. It shows that's so either that AS or SS. Exactly. It shows that oh, there's okay. a lot of work mm -hmm. that has not been done, mm -hmm. and not a lot has to be done, and well, it begins yes. with the government. Mm -hmm. Yes, there are those who are saying we should criminalize the aspect of if you didn't do the test, um, you should be jailed or whatever it is. Yeah. 
there are those who will tell you it's my decision to get married. Mm -hmm. How does government enforce that in the first place? There are so many things we are dealing with that we have, we have it in, on paper, mm -hmm. but enforcement is a challenge. Yeah. How does government deal with that? State governments should take up this responsibility. Yes. Because they are closest to the people. Yeah. Local governments Local should take up this responsibility. Yes. They are closest to the people as well. Mm -hmm. They know the number of churches on the streets. Mm -hmm. They know the number of um, religious houses everywhere. Mm -hmm. Are they doing their due, due diligence? Mm -hmm. How many people are getting married on this, on this Saturday? Yeah. Did they do the test? Mm -hmm. Check the books. Mm -hmm. We don't do the due yeah. diligence. That's that is our problem. That's how we're out to do that now. That so is our if problem. you're going to, um, you know, like the customary court or you're going to, to register your marriage, marriage, it should be one of the criteria. And now there should be a caveat yeah. that if we find out tomorrow or one of your partner reports you tomorrow that you presented a fake genotype result, send you to jail. They're going to jail. <laughs> because I will not say let the mm -hmm. courts conduct the test because that will be giving them too much There's work. There's too much to work yes. for them to do. But there should be that caveat there that makes it a law that is um, liable. You must present your results. Yes, and then it must we can cross-check that it is real. Yes, and even right? if we cannot cross-check, okay. cross-checking is where the work will be for them, which I don't and know conduct how. Conduct it and make the couples pay for it. You have and to we've, pay for uh, it. And we've also like, established with a reliable that reliable laboratory. Exactly. Yeah. reliable uh, laboratory. But they can even set it up. Okay, we found out wait, that wait, it wait, is David very difficult to get the accuracy. David is waiting for us. Sorry, David. Okay. David, good morning. <laughs> uh, welcome and go ahead with your contribution. <laughs> David, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Yes, go ahead. I want to talk about my sister, she passed and she died. Oh my, so sorry. Hi. My stories are not similar. They are not palatable. Yeah. They are not at all. It's, it's a sad one. You can imagine what it is like losing a loved one. Mm -hmm. um, be it your sister, whoever. Uh, you've been with this person for a number of years and the person just goes. I mean, you know, as we were talking, I remember a lady in, in secondary school. This lady was brilliant now. She was always brilliant. Always brilliant. They always come brilliant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anything, this lady was on top. on top. And, you know, she finished secondary school. I think she finished university. We're all, you know. And then the next thing we learned, she passed. Oh, oh. painful. Very painful. It was very painful. So, and so the stories we've had today oh, wow. are for our viewers who are young persons who are still looking to get married, you are in love, you have, tell your partner, please go and do the test. I need to see the results. Mm. We should go together. Go together. Go together. Go together. I need to see the result. When the, one, when the result is out, yes. go together go to in that place. One. Yes. Do like three. Do like three. Because of all these uh, yes. diagnoses. Yes. Yeah. Evelyn, yeah. good morning. Welcome to the show. Good morning. Good yes. morning. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. I'm uh, Evelyn. I have a physical cell. So. Oh, so sorry. My last one, yes. I, and I did that test. We did a test initially before getting married. And my mother was told it was AS. Why I'm AS. And my mother did that test in Alausa. Because my wife is a first man. He did that test in the Alausa. So uh, they made a mistake in his own test. Oh. And we did not know what we gave back to that last one. It's like, yeah. now, this boy is seriously sick. He's even having a stroke now. Oh. I'm spending. How old is spend, he? Spending. He's, not, he's, he's going to be seven by October. Oh. And he has a stroke? He has a stroke now. He can't talk. He can't walk. Now I'm in pain. I'm looking at my son and I'm crying every day. They said I should come to Lutz. I'll be doing that transfusion every every month. At this I don't know what to do. The boy is not talking, he's not working. Well, before he was working and talking two years ago now, everything become like this. I don't even know what to do. The boy is just sitting down, not going to school. I'm just tired. I don't know what to do. Evelyn we're so sorry. That, that it's 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 an unfortunate in, 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 uh, incident, and it's such an overwhelming one. But uh, we need to call out these laboratories that are giving fake results. 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 How can government, state governments? I'll go back to the states. They are they, they are responsible for this. Clamp down on these laboratories that are giving fake test results. results. Whether you made a mistake because you had a number of tests to carry out. 
but you should do your due diligence for goodness sake. Seven year old is having a stroke. The parents are going through pain because your diagnosis. Ah, yeah, the agony in her voice. Their voice. I think That's those labs, I, I haven't sad. heard of any lab that has been prosecuted for wrong diagnosis. Mm. We need to start pushing that conversation that once it is investigated, that you as a lab, you are responsible, you are responsible for letting them make this decision. You have to face the law. Yeah. Something has to happen so you that they can be able, be able to narrow serious. it down to who carried out the tests and the results, what happened. Was there uh, uh, an issue where you mixed up the blood samples? Where what happened? It, uh, then you can narrow it out to the person. If you are saying, "Don't shut down my laboratory," you are we pointing should, out a person. No, no, no. But we should hold them responsible. Yes, we should hold them responsible. You should have done your due diligence in by hiring, hiring the right the right people. person. Exactly. Who people, understand people the job? That yeah. Understand the job. Now, I'm people so are angry. faced. People are faced with this reality, and so I'm thinking: Are there NGOs that cater to? Yes. Um, individuals living with sickle cell there are, and what there intervention are yes what interventions because now this person obviously needs help he obviously. Really needs help and not just ah don't worry we know how you feel timely we do not know how she feels you know i mean know I, i'm saying feel. that beyond don't worry i know how you feel she needs some intervention intervention mm. because it is already i mean see see the way she's the way, speaking mm -hmm. imagine what she's going through emotionally so if there are ngos that do this and if there are even government organizations also mm -hmm. that cater to people living with sickle cell she disease that can attacking. get timely intervention i think that more people would so have a form of on solace NGOs, yes let's yeah. call on to, them to please. reach out to us Many persons, yes, we, we do, may not have a number or, or whoever's number that has called with regards to this, but um, if there are NGOs, please, let's look for how to reach out to this person. So, mm. because the majority Just of them the needs, needs help yeah. you, so that um, the necessary help, these people can get the necessary help. It's just sad tales. Many. Sad, bitter tales thus far. Okay. Currently, we have okay. more people with... Um, wrong diagnosis yes. more than those who actually chose the life Absolutely. yes so that's that's what we're seeing yeah. from all the calls from yeah. it seems like there are more people with wrong diagnosis if they were diagnosed right they would have made better decisions, decisions these absolutely. labs need to take responsibility yeah. and government has talking to about um, these ngos i remember when i i I, think I was working as a reporter at cnbc and then i found um this young boy that had um, a sickle cell um, disease. He came into the private, uh, primary health center that I was covering then for the Lagos State government and I, I just felt pity for him. And there was this particular, I've been trying to remember their name now, it's not coming to me. There was this particular popular NGO then. I collected this boy's, um, I collected his data, his medical re records and everything. I sent them to this NGO. After they collected the results, I didn't hear from them again. Hmm. I kept on calling, I kept on sending emails so, regarding, I didn't hear from, so in my head, I think there are some NGOs that just collect um, these results and use it to gain, get funding. Yeah, they gain the funds and they do not even. But that's wickedness. The, bottom line, exactly. wickedness. Pure wickedness. What and bottom they do not line? Even take care yes, of we know patients. that the burden is a lot. But if so you are there to NGOs, help, to please help. Mm -hmm. That's that's the major thing. Yeah. If you are there to help, please help. At the end of the day, because. I don't want to say it so okay, much. Comments. It's too comment. Uh -huh. Yeah, quickly so because yeah. Alera Rupert shot. says the results aren't fake. The genotype test is subjective. Mm. The renowned mm -hmm. researcher said it is safer to do at least three or five tests and go and go with the results right. that has the highest level. We, we have to go. Okay. Unfortunately, we have mm. to wrap up the conversation <laughs> now. But, um, <laughs> it's been uh, a roller coaster yes, on the show this morning okay. with regards to those who have had to witness their children ill or even witness their relative pass as a result of mm. genotype issues. So the essence is go check your genotype, understand what the situation is and look for how you can manage uh, the situation. If there are NGOs who are in this, please reach out to people and help as much as you can. Thank you everyone for being a part of the show. Thank you ladies Thank for, you for an intense show uh, this morning. We'll see you again on a Monday to stay safe. Bye.